there was a six year break between the Australian accent and I wanted to refocus on Christo and Jean-Claude, whose career really expanded after the Rept Coast in 1969. I stayed very close friends, more than friends, they were like family, and I followed their work. They did the Valley Curtain after the Rept Coast, which I didn't see, but I saw, and it's still one of my favorite, the Running Fence in California. It was the most beautiful, minimalist work, a fence stretching many miles from farmlands reaching into the sea. I invited them back to do a survey exhibition from the very beginning, from the days in Paris to what they were working on now. And the art gallery agreed to hold that exhibition. Also for the art gallery, it was the first survey show of an international artist, and it occupied the whole of the downstairs exhibition space. But it wasn't only an exhibition. Christo also wrapped the vestibule, transforming the entrance of the art gallery into a mysterious cave-like object, which the crowd really enjoyed. What became evident from the show is how much Christo's way of working has changed. Wrapped coast, we were amateurs. Since then, Christo and Jean-Claude, working on project, have become much more sophisticated with engineers, environmental study people, and it was a whole team effort that brought about projects. They showed in that exhibition not only realized works, but works that they were planning to do. For example, their famous Reichstag work, which they've been working on since 1979 and wasn't realized till 20 odd years later. Because one of the hallmarks of the work is the lengths it takes to get permission. For example, with the wrapping of the Reichstag, it went to a vote in the German parliament and it snuck through with a majority of two votes to let it happen. But it was a wonderful project very soon after the wall came down, and in a way it unified the two Berlins. But back to the exhibition. So Christo showed the very early wrappings of bottles and oil drums that he did in Paris to drawings of imaginary projects, large-scale, works. Again, it was something very different for the Australian public. And Christo and Jean-Claude thoroughly enjoyed being back in Australia. Mm -hmm.